I'm Malia, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action. Today we'll be creating bubble wrap art. So for our bubble wrap art project, we'll need a few different materials. First of all, we'll need bubble wrap. You'll notice that this is the large size bubble wrap. So if you have kind of funny fingers or if there's somebody who's really little that's gonna be using this, uh, the big bubble wrap is, is really what you wanna use. And it comes in different varieties. So there's some that's a little more stiff and there's some that's a little bit more, um, you know, floppy. You can use either one, but the big bubble wrap is really the best one. If you are older or, and you're very nimble, you can also use the really, really small bubble wrap, but I would recommend for this project to start off with the big stuff. Also, we're going to need to find things to fill the bubble wrap with. So these can be things like fabric scraps. You can use yarn, little bits of felt are really great. Also, I don't go anywhere without my bling, so you can have some bling in there glitter, you can use pony beads, or even things like, you know, tissue paper or paper for magazines, pretty much anything. You'll also need some tape. So I've got some heavy duty tape here, it's just what I have on hand. You could also use scotch tape. And you'll want to use something sharp to cut the bubble wrap with. So if you want to go pro, you can use an X-Acto knife or you can even use a pair of scissors. So make sure that when you do this project that the cutting utensil is age appropriate. So these days I've been ordering a lot of stuff online and I have so much bubble wrap that comes with my stuff. Way too much bubble wrap. So I decided that there's got to be a good use for this and I thought also, with all the making that I've been doing while I'm at home, I've got all these little scraps that are pretty, but I just don't know what to do with them. And so I thought if we take the bubble wrap and we stick some stuff in it, we could create some new and interesting art. All right, so we've got our beautiful, bountiful bubble wrap here. And you'll notice that your bubble wrap has two sides. Resist the urge. I know what you're thinking. Mm, you want to pop it, but don't because we need it to be unpopped. So you notice that there's a textured side and a smooth side. We'll want to be dealing with the smooth side here. What I'm going to do now is start with some bling, for example. So I've got some beautiful bling here. I'm just going to take out a couple pieces of that. And I'm going to start, I don't know, how about right in the middle here? I'm going to use my X-Acto knife or some other type of thing to cut this with, like a pair of scissors. And I'm going to insert the object into the bubble wrap. And you can put as many things in here as you want. You can stick to one medium. So for mine, it is bling. Or you can stick to something else. So pick whatever tape that you have on hand, and you're just gonna repeat this process here by making an incision into the top of the bubble wrap with a sharp object and putting objects into it. Kind of a fun meditative process, and who knew that bubble wrap could be so interesting and artistic, right? Again, I'm gonna continue with the incision. A nice, sharp X-Acto knife is, is a really good thing to use for this, but you don't need to use it, it's not necessary. You can also use a pair of scissors, here. And I'm just covering it up with enough tape here. I don't want to cover up any of the other bubbles that I'm going to fill. So check this out. I've got some scraps here. So I'm going to make them a little bit more manageable. And this is just really great if you have pretty fabric. I know I've been doing a lot of sewing lately, and I've been wondering what I can use this extra pretty fabric for. So make an incision here. If you find that your fingers are a little bit unnimble, you can also use something to assist in stuffing the bubble wrap with. 
And that could be in the form of like some sort of a pokey thing, like a toothpick. You could use like a, a paper clip or a, a skewer of some sort. And you can use that to help stuff the bubbles with, with the material. I just happen to have a paper clip handy, so I'm gonna use that there. And as you can see here, this is just a sampling of some of the items I put into the bubble wrap. So you can hang this in front of a window, you can turn it to something wearable, you can put it on a, on a, on a wall. I would recommend here just for show that you might wanna, not wanna use the frosted tape here. The clear tape looks a little bit better, but again, it just depends on what kind of art you wanna make. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's Art in Action.